So, I received a uh, special package in the mail today. A uh, subscriber of mine, old and tired, sent me a uh, little care package. They said they wanted to give me give me some stuff, so they sent some stuff over. So this is my uh, first reactions to the stuff. Got a compass. Don't have one of these actually. Probably very handy. I should probably I should actually probably have one in my collecting kit. So thank you for that. It's always funny what you what you realize you don't have. Okay. Okay, let me just double check. This has got some writing on it, so I don't want this to. It's a little letter, so I might read. I'm just gonna read this and then get back to you guys. So, back to uh, the stuff. I read the letter, it was very nice. Thank you. I appreciate everything that you're sending me. Here's a little carved stone frog, or maybe it's a toad. I don't know. Probably a frog, I'm gonna guess. Toads tend to have or tend to be a little more wordy. Okay, that was freaking out with the zoom. There we go. Really nice little green toad. Let's go to the next one. So a lot of these finds come from the same creek. Ah, oh, awesome. So these are some brachia pots. See if we can get a nice close up. There we go. Very little, cool little clam like fossils. They're not clams, technically, they're brachiopods. There is a difference. F fossil people will definitely correct you if you call them clams, believe me. <laughs> Some very nice ones, actually. Very cool. Love, I love these. These are awesome. Love the detail on them. If I remember correctly, I, I did a little bit of reading on these. These guys were filter feeders, which I think mm, clams are too. Like modern clams. Of course, those aren't clams, those are brachiopods. Here's some. So I believe this is some type of. Uh, glacial till found in one creek. Old and tired uh, wrote me a nice letter and explained where these things come from. So that's some type of glacial till. Let's grab this guy. Let's see what he is. Little damage. So some orange calcite by the looks of it. It's got some nice color. I like the, the this color of orange. Kind of reminds me of like a like Sunkiss, if you know what that drink is. I remember getting that as a kid. That was like a treat. And now, now what I know that stuff is made out of, I'm like, ooh, why did I ever uh, like that stuff? Ooh, I like this one. It's got some nice bands to it. Wonder this kind of looks like a. Let's see, let it zoom in. It's almost like a. What is that? That's interesting. The definitely look into this. Does it looks like it's chert, but then it it's got its outer cortex. Like if you see this material, very cool. Man, I love this stuff. Like with my arrowhead hunting. I love it when I find different types of chert because it just gets my mind going and my imagination going with the types of arrowheads that these could be made of. Yeah, this definitely looks like some kind of chert with with the outer cortex. Like the outer cortex, I believe this part is the outer cortex. It's going from chert to whatever, probably like some type of sandstone or whatever host rock it was in. And like this stuff kind of reminds me of like Wonderstone. 
don't think it's rhyolite, but that's what the Wonderstone is. I think it's a rhyolite, if I remember correctly. Very cool stuff. Ooh. This is definitely banded shirt. Awesome. Oh, I love this stuff. This stuff is killer. So it's definitely some type of banded shirt. Man, this would tumble up or polish up nicely. I love it. Like, look at these bands. Killer stuff. Be amazing to find an arrowhead made out of this stuff. I know they exist. I've seen people pull these, like, bullseye points with this awesome banding in them. Let's see, next guy. Let's grab this front guy. Oh, this is interesting. Get a good look at this. Some kind of a quartzy feldspar like material. Some kind of quartz cobble, maybe. Interesting. Put that off to the side. There's some loose guys. Some more quartz by the looks of it. Got some interesting coloration. Some type of iron staining or something. This is, this looks like some type of quartzite, I believe. It's pretty stuff. Maybe it's granite. I think it's quartzite. I think I would call that a quartzite. Some more quartzy stuff. Nice and focused. It's nice and red. Another great rock to tumble. That reminds me I have to do... Uh, I'm thinking of uh, tumbling um, some of that stuff. Ooh. Before I get back to that. What is this? It's got some nice stripes on it. Kind of almost looks like it was... Looks like quartz, I want to say, but it this looks like mica, almost like nice. Um, but it doesn't have the stripes throughout at all, so I don't think I would call it nice. Maybe it's a bit of quartz with a bit of nice, and that's um, nice is spelled G N E I S S, I believe. It's a German word for, it's like a quartz and mica kind of striped rock. Um, I think they pronounce it Gneiss or Gneissen or something like that, if I remember correctly. But in English, we just say nice. The G is silent. Ooh, awesome. This I definitely don't have. I'll put this guy off to the side. It's a little pudding stone. Awesome, fine. It's got a nice little jasper, jasper bits in it. That is awesome. Been wanting to get some of this stuff. We don't have this type of uh, um, type of stuff in my area. A lot of the glacial till I find is like a epidote and like quartz, basically. Should, uh, maybe I should actually put the stuff in front. Uh, Let's get this out of the way so that there's some nice light. Let's look at this guy first before we keep going. This almost reminds me of kind of like a Dalmatian Jasper, but I don't think it is. I think it's like, um, looks kind of like a quartzy or feldsparry type rock with some kind of, uh, black mineral in it. I would not be able to tell, but very interesting. I'll put that guy there. Let's put the brachiopods. Let's put these guys. The shirts. Shirts in the quartzy bits. This stuff is awesome. Once again, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I'm very thankful for everything you send me. Let me double check everything. It looks like there's one more bit in here. Another 
think that's a another bit of pudding stone. You can see the yeah, look at that, another bit of pudding stone with a nice bit of jasper in it. Awesome, thank you so much. I've been wanting to get to add pudding stone to my uh, collection. It's a very interesting conglomerate. Actually, interestingly enough, on pudding stone, ooh, I like these. On a uh, pudding stone, it's um, the conglomerate, of course. But it's a it's a very interesting conglomerate because it's actual source a lot I know a lot of it's found in the states this is a bit of pyrite very nice it's got the crystals on it you can see the uh, cubic crystals now when you when when people say um, pyrite is cubic it doesn't necessarily mean that the crystals are cubes but it means it's part of the cubic family so there are some um, different types of pyrite crystals, and they'll look different, but they're all pyrite, and they're all technically part of the cubic crystal family, if I remember correctly. I might be wrong. If I am wrong, I'll double check my uh, info. Another piece of nice pyrite. Awesome stuff. Stuff is so cool. I love stuff like this. Let me just get that off to the side. Let's keep going. Man, thank you so much for this stuff. I really appreciate it. Ooh, this is, uh, so in the letter, Old and Tired mentioned she, uh, she, she, uh, gave me a piece of petrified wood. I love petrified wood. And this stuff comes from Alberta. Or at least that's what she, she mentioned. I love it. Like, look at that. Look at the, uh, yeah, that's a better side. That'll show you the grains better. Look at those grains. I love this type of stuff. This stuff is amazing. And there we go. Awesome. Almost looks like, let me just double check. I'll have to look at it under the microscope, but there might be some dendritic features, like right where my thumb is. I'll have to look under the yeah, uh, my uh, zoom in camera. That would be cool. It's always interesting to have some interesting features. Ooh, I know what this is. This is a piece of unikite. So unikite is a quartz, well, yeah, this one has a bit of quartz in it. So unikite is, I, so it's an epitodotized, epitodotized, I think I said that correctly, um, granite. So epitote tends to metamorphize the feldspar in the granite. And then what happens is you'll get this partially metamorphized granite that has epidote and feldspar. So you'll get the orange, which is the feldspar, and the uh, green, which is the epidote. And sometimes there will also be quartz because quartz can also show up in granite. So you'll see this quartz feldspar epidote mix. And this stuff tumbles up and looks very nice when it is tumbled up. That is very cool. I've only got a couple chunks of that. And it looks like we got some more like feldspar quartz mixes. Also would be nice tumbling stones. Oh, this one's interesting. It's got a bit... Uh, you can see on the top here. You see that flash? I'll have to look at it a little closely, but that's a, that's a bit of feldspar, but it's got a little bit of a play of color, well, play of color, a flash of color, let's put it that way. A bit of a quartz feldspar mix by the looks of it. Um, okay. Ooh, big guy. Let's see what this guy is. Ooh, like this. This guy's cool. This guy's a huge piece of... Uh, Looks like orthoclase, maybe. Orthoclase feldspar. It's got these nice striations in it. Very cool. 
That would actually look nice, kind of polished up, I think. Very awesome. I believe that is it. Once again, thank you so much for sending me this stuff. I really appreci appreciate it. This stuff is amazing. I love this stuff. Really love these um, pudding stones. I don't have any of those in my collection, so it's great to add those to my collection. And these these banded shirts are great too. I love I love different types of shirts. Though they're very interesting. Some people find them kind of boring, but I think it's very cool. And I appreciate the fossils, the the uh, brachiopods, and the uh, petrified wood from Alberta. It's a very very cool gift. And yeah, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I ho hope you guys enjoyed this um, unboxing. And I, I will see you guys in the next video. Please, if you enjoyed this type of stuff, um, drop a like, maybe subscribe if you haven't. And have a good day.